there are many ways to keep the vegetation you know to a minimum and clean and that is basically to get a bunch of goats and here we see an example of that look at the ground it's completely flat they have eaten everything except the trees themselves so it's kind of kind of sweet it's it's definitely an organic way to keep your landscape you know where it should be right and if you're hungry you know you can always get some milk or meat from these uh, beautiful animals Uh, this area here is, by the way, right next to the airport and uh, I will follow this road here to the northern side of the island here. As soon as I checked out the goats here, I found these horses here. So this island is definitely full of animals. Beautiful horses. Hello, how are you? Very nice, All right? Look at the color, this beige, beautiful color here. And then, uh, well, these are the three studios here, right? And then we have kind of a mixed color here. And then two brown ones up there. And in the background, you see this really dark brown horse here. So yeah, these are really nice. I, I wish I knew more about horses here, but I, I don't know much, but I can appreciate some wildlife here in uh, Molokai. Well, it's not wildlife really, but these are domesticated horses. But bye guys, see you later, bye bye. Here we have Kalawapapa Lookout down in this direction. And have something called phallic rock. What is that? And that's obviously in that direction. Wow, that sounds kind of interesting. So um, let, let's find out what's going on down here first. I'm very excited here to see uh, Kalau Papa from above. They used to have a mule ride that actually went all the way down but uh, I'm not sure if it's actually um, happening right now by the way this is a state park here I believe look at all these trees they have here it's like a spooky little forest I'm coming down here to the lookout and um, I can already see the place to the right and I will turn the camera here in a second they built up a little wall they have some um, information here about the place you are looking at the Kalaupapa Peninsula it's actually one of the most beautiful prisons in the in the world well not anymore but it used to be um, because the king the Hawaiian king actually made this into a leprosy colony around 1865 or something like that and um, if you got leprosy you ended up here you could never leave this area was also surrounded by ocean and very very high sea cliffs as you can see so it was incredibly hard to to escape the area and most people with leprosy they, they actually lived all the way on the eastern side uh, of this peninsula in, in the beginning at least and then later on they have moved into what you see right down here on the western side.
and it's still a closed area. You you kind of need per a permit to to go and visit. I don't think it's very hard to get, but no children are allowed to to visit this uh, as of right now. But uh, later on in the future, I think it will open up, and it's it's just a pristine place where thousands and thousands of people actually died from this disease. So there you have it, the beautiful Kalaupapa. And we are very high up here because you can see the fog or, or these clouds are coming up here. You can see it's kind of a lot of moisture in the air, right? All right, I think we have seen it. And by the way, there are no ro roads leading down to this area here, none. You have to fly in. And that's why they have an airstrip uh, on the other side here, all the way out at the tip. And right next to that, you might see a lighthouse sticking up. And I hope they never build a road in. I mean, that would be crazy. This is such a pristine place like it is. All righty, let's uh, go back up. I just had to walk down to this mystery rock formation here and I found it. Take a look at this one. How cool is that? And uh, they have some information about it. It's kind of a fertility stone. And there is a story here. Basically what they say is that if a woman comes here with offerings and spend the night here, she will return home pregnant. Wow, okay. So, uh, yeah. What do you think? This is really interesting. I wonder if somebody carved it or if it's natural. It's an interesting shape, right? What do you guys think? And uh, somebody made some little offering here. So then we know what that means. Let me do one lap here. All right. This is actually sacred ground for the Hawaiians. And by the way, we have a bunch of other rocks here. And why they appear right here is beyond me, but they are pretty big. But this one looks like a sea turtle coming up from the ground. But we all know it's representing something else. Right? <laughs> all right. At least we have seen it. From all angles. And it's time for me to head back. The walk was pretty much uh, two or three minutes from the parking lot, by the way. This is uh, the downtown area of uh, Kauna Kakai. And uh, I'm looking up the main street here. We have a couple of stores uh, where you can buy food up there. They have a liquor store, they have some other stuff, they have a bakery, things like that. I will just walk up and uh, kind of show you the best of this little town here. So uh, let, let's do it. They are building a new building here in the corner. I can tell.
And by the way, this is the second uh, little gas station they have here in town. The, uh, the big one is down by uh, the main street and then they have a little one here. So you have two gas stations in town. I just snuck into one of the side alleys they have here and um, we're looking pretty much at the the back of these stores here I'm sure the staff working in these stores they, they park here and so on and so on We had a biker dude passing here yeah. and we have some uh, cool looking stores here on the other side and of course a side alley in here too. It's always very interesting to go in and see what you can find when you go into the other side. Many of these buildings you see here in Hawaii and Molokai, they are green and that's pretty pretty sweet actually. Hey! Have been on YouTube channel? Absolutely. This is my first time seeing somebody like that. First time? Okay, now you will be on YouTube. Huh? You will be famous now. This is rush hour traffic by the way. I'm just standing here in a random corner here, checking out traffic. Uh, we have some uh, stores in the back here as well. You can buy building material. In case you need to build a house or improve the house you have here. So it's kind of busy here in the back. But I would say you can uh, kind of walk around the whole town here in a few minutes. Make a little circle. And I can see they are selling Hawaiian ice cream here in the corner. Which is all, all, always good, right? And now if I go down to the street you see down there that would be kind of outside the downtown area here so I'm turning back and I will go in here they have a drugstore and the building was or at least the business was established in 1935 according to the sign up there I think I will just cross over here. And this is kind of the, the end of the street. And then you have all the residential areas up here behind the trees. So it is a smaller place but Still, you, you find pretty much everything you need here. They have a sign in the window here. They say, we have ice in this little green store you see here. And I see some fruit outside. They're selling bananas or well, not ore. They sell bananas and other type of fruits in here. Wow, what a nice little store. I think it's time for me to kind of shut down here and uh, go to the market. There is a little market here on the other side of the street. I need to pick up some water. So I survived the, the night here. Let me just take a last look in here and see what I can find here. Oh, it's just a big parking lot here. 
probably for customers. But I definitely need to go to the friendly market on the other side. This is the place I'm looking for. They are selling hot bread here. And if you look at the hours here, they say it's basically 7.30 to 10 or 11. Monday is closed. So I have to come back a little bit later this evening and buy some hot bread. And you do that in the back here. Which is kind of cool. So, um, I will come back. And it's pretty much right here, in this alleyway, right here. And we have some kids up there. <laughs> All right. It's too early now, that will be a few hours later.